Hello class! Today we are going to be learning about warm and cool colors. We're going to need two sheets of paper and something to color with. If you only have one sheet of paper, that is perfectly fine. Just cut it in half. So, what are warm colors? Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. I like to think of the sun, the hot weather. Usually the first colors that come to mind are these red tones, yellows, and oranges. So what I'm going to do is fill in my entire page with warm colors. What are they again? If you said orange, yellow, and red, you are correct. So I like thinking about the sun, fire, anything that's warm helps me think of these three colors. Now that we have completed our warm color scheme, we are moving on to our cool color scheme. So what colors are those again? Blue, purple, and green. Awesome. So here I am. I'm practicing filling in my paper. I'm noticing when I hold my color pencil on its side, it covers more area than when I use the very tip. So let's practice how different angles of holding our pencil affects the marks. Here are both of my finished sheets. Notice how I really took my time and colored in all of the paper. This is very important because when we use them next time, we want them to be super colorful. So once we finish our warm and cool color schemes, we're going to flip our paper over so we don't see our colors. We're going to need a scissor and a pencil. I'm going to use the pencil to draw a guide for myself. That way I know where I'm cutting. To draw our guide, we are just going to draw some straight lines down our paper. I did about six. You can do more or less, whatever you can fit. Now it's time to use our scissors. So we want to be extra careful when we use our scissors and make sure our one hand is very far away from our scissor hand. We're not gonna cut right below our hand. We could accidentally cut ourselves, and we don't want that to happen. So here I am on the opposite side of my paper slowly and carefully chomping that line I made. Boom! We already have one done. Now I'm just following along for the rest of my lines and making strips of paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I didn't go exactly on my line but it's a good guide to help us out. As you move closer to your hand, make sure your fingers that are holding your paper are away from the scissor. Carefully continuing down that last line and awesome. Now, we should have about six strips of paper. Great job. 